Senator John Kennedy's pointed remarks about Joe Biden touch on leadership competence, the judiciary's role, and the far-reaching implications of political decisions. Um, from, from your perspective as an attorney and someone on the Judiciary Committee, um, who's right there, Trump or Blumenthal? Well, I think uh, Senator Blumenthal is wrong. I would make three points. Uh, number one, remember that it was the Justice Department that overreached and asked for this opinion, and the Justice Department got it. They got it good and hard. Uh, number two, uh, you didn't have to be uh, Oliver Wendell Scalia to see this opinion coming. It was predictable because it's the law. Uh, the Constitution and common sense demonstrate that, that um, the Justice Department can't prosecute a president, not criminally, for an official act. It can for a personal act. Now, if the Justice Department wants to prosecute a president for his behavior, the Justice Department has a burden of proving that it's a personal act. And the Supreme Court said, we're not going to do your work for you. Uh, the third point I would make, uh, Martha, remember, the Supreme Court sees what we see. Uh, President Biden is, is uh, losing this election. Uh, President Biden has a uh, neuro neurodegenerative disease. He, uh, he practically invents a new language every time he speaks. His family has serious legal problems. Um, his staff, which is running the country, is more concerned about uh, gas stoves and whether a man can breastfeed than it is about inflation or crime or the border or national security. And that's why the president's losing. This case was political from the get go. It was designed to help President Biden. And, and I think the United States Supreme Court today said, look, we, we don't get involved in politics. We don't want to get mixed up in this. That's why it was such, in my opinion, an anodyne, predictable uh, decision. John Kennedy's criticism of Joe Biden's cognitive and leadership competency. Many might find themselves agreeing with Kennedy's view that Biden faces significant struggles both politically and cognitively, which raises concerns about his ability to effectively lead a nation. The importance of a president who can mentally and physically handle the immense responsibilities of the office cannot be overstated. Kennedy's words underscore the vital need for authentic leadership, personal responsibility, and transparent governance. Leaders must acknowledge their limitations and the consequences of their decisions, which are fundamental for meaningful and responsible governance. The impact of Joe Biden's cognitive decline on the public's morale is profound. Understanding how Biden's mental health issues contribute to voter uncertainty and distrust is crucial. The perception of a president with a neurodegenerative condition significantly affects public confidence in his decision-making capabilities and his overall ability to steer the country. Kennedy's remarks on the Supreme Court's decisions and the judiciary's role in political matters highlight another critical area. The perception of the Supreme Court as an impartial mediator significantly influences public trust in the judicial system. Avoiding political entanglement reinforces the essential principles of judicial independence and the rule of law. The public reaction to Kennedy's comments and their impact on the political arena cannot be ignored. The criticism of Biden's cognitive decline resonates deeply with voters already anxious about his leadership. It also points to the administration's effectiveness in addressing these concerns, suggesting that a more transparent, and proactive approach might help rebuild public trust.